The first time I heard this piece, it was in New York. I was not playing it, and I, I was just blown away. Messiaen, first of all, was a very uh, devout Catholic, very religious man. He wrote this piece uh, while imprisoned in a German prisoner of war camp in Germany. Maybe he thought it would be his last days. But I think because of his religious faith, he believed in something after. He found himself in a camp with these other musicians who he hadn't known about until he started talking to his fellow inmates. A violinist, a cellist, and a clarinetist. The clarinetist, his name was Henri Akoka, and he happened to be Jewish. He went to Messian secretly on two occasions and said, Olivier, he says, I have a plan. I'm I'm leaving. He had planned an escape. And Messiah's answer to him was, thank you very much, but I believe in, in God. I'm going to stay. And Akoka said, I do not. I believe in myself, and I'm out of here. And he left, and he did escape, um, but was captured and brought back to the camp. Um, he ended up escaping a second time, this guy which was lucky for him because all of the other Jews in the camp were sent probably to Auschwitz or somewhere like that and disappeared. But this fellow, Henri, um, was able to resume his career after the war in Paris. It's a pretty amazing story. This piece, it's, it's extraordinary. In its length, it's almost an hour long. He stretches the limits of every instrument, as if, you know, beyond earthly bounds. Violinist, dear, I'm going to ask you to do something that has not been asked of you before. You're playing slower than ever, you know, higher than ever, softer than ever. And then the combined efforts are, are you know, you're reaching for something that's almost unreachable in some cases. It's, it's become kind of a, a, one of the biggest classics of the 20th century. I'm looking forward to this uh, occasion very much because I've known Noah now for a while, and um, when he first came here, he was really on the rise, and of course now he's risen as high as you can in the music business and uh, playing all over the world. He's a fabulous, fabulous musician, violinist, now friend, and Julie, who I've known through my daughter. They were classmates at CIM together, so I've known her since she's a teenager. Roman, my son-in-law, who is the most delicious guy I know. <laughs> and brilliant, brilliant mind, brilliant pianist. It's just going to be a very special occasion for me. Much of this piece is about celebrating life or the prospect of losing life, um, the, what the end of time really means. It takes me to this place um, as if you're ascending, you know, and you go beyond where you've ever been. And at the end of the piece, you know, listening to the piano chords and the violin go higher and higher, higher I always get chills. And I, whenever I look out at the audience, um, they feel the same way, like transported to another world. So I think Messian really, really achieved something here.